Hi, this is Stephen Haynes, and today we're going to introduce you to the HydroSub 60 from Hytrans. Uh, the HydroSub 60 or HS60 is the smallest unit that Hytrans manufactures. As I mentioned, the HydroSub 60 is manufactured by Hytrans Fire System. Hytrans has been manufacturing high flow capacity remotely operated submersible pumps since 1988. They practically invented these things. They have over 970 units sold to date. This is uh, August 1st of 2017, and they expect their 1,000th unit to roll off the production line by the end of the year or very early in 2018. When looking at remotely operated, hydraulically driven submersible pumps, don't settle for imitations. Go with the pros, high trans fire system. Now we're going to show you a video of a launch of the HydroSub 60 at the Slainsville Fire Department in Slainsville, West Virginia. We just recently completed that drill with the Slaysville Fire Department. They've been operating the unit since 2006. Uh, theirs is an older vintage model built in 2002, but they've had it in service since 2006. I love that video because it just shows the essence of how simple these pumps are to operate. The uh, unit has about 98 feet of hydraulic cable or hydraulic hose, which feeds the uh, pump from the power unit in the back of the truck. That means any water that's within 98 feet of the truck can be utilized whether it's horizontal or vertical. There's no priming required and it's very simple to operate. Start the pump, rev up the throttle and away you go. Uh, if you can't train someone to operate that pump, they're probably not teachable. You need to move on to somebody else. As you can see the Hydra Sub 60 is a very compact, it's a small unit, fits in the back of a pickup truck, it's easily trailer mounted or it could be kept as a containerized unit as shown in the lower picture. Even though it's small, it packs a lot of power. It's got a 74 horsepower diesel engine with four, over four hours of fuel supply. Uh, we can fill tankers with this unit at 1100 to 940 gallon a minute, depending on the lift. The biggest thing to keep in mind is this unit will keep pumping regardless of the lift. If you're trying to use pumper trucks or fire inductor systems, you're gonna crap out at about 22 feet. You're just not gonna be able to fill the tankers up. Uh, that's a very common application for the folks in Slainsville, and they've been operating their system for over 16 years. They also use their system for water supply operations where they pump directly to the fire ground from the hydro sub. Uh, assuming a 20 PSI back pressure from the pumper and a 15 foot lift along the roadway, we can move 500 gallon a minute, 4,200 feet down a five inch hose lay. Uh, we could do 750 GPM out to 1,300 feet and 1,000 gallon a minute out to 300 feet. Uh, we're going to go back, show you that video one more time, because I think it just really shows the essence of how simple these units are to operate, particularly when they're mounted to a truck or a trailer. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind, I don't think the time shows up in here, but if you time it, it's a minute and 30 seconds from the time the uh, firefighter starts to pull the unit or the pump unit out of the back of the truck and he has water flowing.
Okay, I'd like to take this time now to thank you for watching our video. If you need any more information about the HydroSub 60 or any other units in the HydroSub line, please give us a call. Uh, all my contact information is listed below. If you're seriously looking at the remote operated submersible pump equipment, keep in mind that Hytrans has over 970 of these units built to date. Nobody out there can touch them in regards to the amount of experience and the number of units built to date. Uh, they are the pros at this. Don't settle for imitations. Give us a call. Take care.